Well, boys, today we're out in the Yukon at my buddy's summer vacation home. Um, one heck of a summer vacation home, especially with the mountains in the background there. It looks pretty dang good. But I decided I'd pack up all the toys and bring them on out here because there's a mud pit not too far away from here. So we're going to head out there and do some ripping. But first, coffee. There we go. By the way, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton, and I appreciate it so much. And while you're down there, if you're not subscribed yet, subscribing helps me make videos just like this. So, you know, it's down there if you want. But we got my buddy Cooper's SEMA truck here. Surprisingly enough, he let me borrow it for the week, even though uh, I blew it up last time I had it. So, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try to be careful with this time. We've also got the uh, big old flatbed here loaded down with all sorts of stuff. I decided I'd bring this. It's some sort of a vehicle. I, I honestly don't know. I, I picked it up off Facebook Marketplace. I thought it looked cool, so... We'll try it out in the mud. But we're going to get the old uh, towing rig here hooked up to the trailer. And we'll go see how much fun we can have. Got to have that extra horsepower there with the mirrors. But we brought out all the stops this week. And I wasn't about to leave home with uh, not bringing out all the cool toys, of course. I think we're going to hop in the SEMA truck here first. And uh, kind of go scout out the mud pit a little bit. See how it is. I haven't been down there yet, so I'm kind of curious. If I can find out where the heck it is. My buddy said it's just down here. Luckily, we got a nice wide bridge here. Because, I don't know, SEMA truck might take up a lot of bridges here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm kind of on the wrong side here at the moment. Let's go down here a little bit and see if we can make it over there. Just want to make sure it's all good here before we bring down all the toys. A little bit of rock crawling action here. The SEMA truck suspension is still just a little stiff. Hasn't been broken in yet, but I think today we might try to break it in. Oh boy. Yeah, it looks like we got a fair amount of mud here. Not seeing many deep spots though. It's looking a little shallow at the moment. Hasn't been much rain here, I guess. Huh, I was really hoping there'd be a deep spot. Oh, never mind. I found the deep spot. Okay, yeah, this is a deep spot right here. And this thing is tall and it's already pretty much sinking in over the tires. So yeah, I think I found our spot. Definitely could sink a quad or two in there. Just go up there like that. Yeah, that should... Oh, nope. That'll do it. We'll just leave this here and we'll uh, go grab the other toys. To be honest, I don't think I need to bring the entire trailer down there, but we're gonna do it anyway. Why not? Besides, taking all this stuff individually back and forth would uh, not be a good time. Oh boy, we're going off the road here. I already got my helmet on and my uh, nice little goggles there. You know, gotta be prepared. Is there a good place to park here? Because I ain't really seeing much. You know what? We're just gonna send it right down in here yeah this right here this shot to do it there we go my brakes will stop me look at the size of mud flaps we got on here we ain't kicking up no rocks on the dually especially not on the fresh coat of paint we got on there oh yeah one of my favorites the f100 that's come and swapped and lifted i don't got the boggers on that's what i should have swapped on here before coming out here you know what my buddy actually might have a set. We might go swap those on a little bit later. We'll see how these, uh, I don't know about pavement princess tires, but definitely not boggers do on this. It don't got as much clearance as the, uh, big old Ford there, so. Oh, boy. Yep. Already getting into the hard stuff here. I gotta be careful with this. Look how much that's sunk in there already. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be, uh, having some fun cleaning these afterwards. Oh, man. Easy with it. Yeah, good chance we're gonna sink a quad. We got our brand new 2022 Outlander there, and I'm really dying to get this thing in some mud, so let's get that unloaded there, and we'll, we'll see what fun we can have with that. You know what? I think we might take this out first, though. <laughs> I might have messed up. Um, we'll just drive it off from here. It's got some mud tires on it. Oh boy, don't flip. So we'll see how it goes. It doesn't go like crazy fast because it's got like that little old motor on the back, but we'll have some fun. Actually, I should probably be a little more careful with this because there's no way it has any kind of a snorkel. So good chance this thing gets sunk. I'm going to get soaked in mud, aren't I? That's as deep as I care to take it. Well, we'll save this one for a rescue vehicle in case we sink an outlander or something. I brought the dirt bike. I'm not sure why, but it's here in case we need it. Money with a dirt bike, probably not the best idea. Oh, okay. That wasn't the smartest idea either. Are my snorkels okay? Okay, we're good. Snorkels are all good. Miraculously, that PVC pipe survived that. But the big snorkels, okay. I gotta really watch where I'm going. The big snorkels should help us uh, definitely not sink this. Even though I'm pretty sure we will. Oh, <laughs> already taking it deep. Oh, no, no, no. Don't go under. Don't go under. Big snorkel. <laughs> The snorkels aren't liking that. Yeah, lift it up. Lift it up. It does a bit of floating. Not too much, but it can make it through. Oh, easy. On the side here. Oh, no. We might be stuck. My four-wheel drive's not kicking in. That's not good. Oh, oh, we got out. We got out while smashing into our little uh, flatbed there. Okay, I think now our four-wheel drive's working. Is there any other deeper holes? Yep, that's that's a deep one. I gotta be careful in here. I'm gonna wreck a front end or blow a diff here real fast. It's these small little ones that if you go into them and you don't quite see the bottom, it's just, you're gone. Also, the suspension is terrible on this thing. Oh, oh, almost flipped it. Okay, yeah, we're stuck now. Yeah, reverse doesn't work neither. We're stuck now. First casualty of the day, the four tracks. 
Okay, maybe the Outlander might have a, a bit of a better chance. I think it's got some higher snorkels. Is it? Is it higher? Okay, we'll have to get my hair once we get that thing out. Nope, wrong bike. That might have not been a good idea. Okay, we made it. Yeah, the Outlander is definitely a bigger machine here, so it should do well. And this thing's a dead stock one. Oh, yeah. First real mud on this thing. I got the winch on this, so I might try to get... No, 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 no. That ain't gonna happen. I got the winch on this thing, so I may try uh, get the Honda out and see if the Outlander can make it through that little spot there, because that one's a tough little one. Yeah, let's winch this thing out. Okay, out you go, little four tracks. Didn't handle the mud. Okay, unhook the winch. Let's try just drive it out. Yep, there it goes. Right back into another mud hole. Okay, let's try this with the Outlander. Nope, not that one. The other one. It's got those sharp corners because this is like all clay and stuff. So once it gets dug down, it just does not like it. Okay, we might already be hung up. Nope, we're not. I really got to put some Assassinator mud tires on this. Oh yeah, like a champ. Maybe not. Maybe it's getting hung up already. Okay, we're good. The deep mud hole, the very, very deep one. Oh, easy. Oh, maybe not. You gotta watch where you take this or you're just gonna absolutely sink a bike. Is it gonna come out of this? We're gonna lift it up. Yeah, there it goes. Lifting it up. I really need a bog to go riding because this is kind of a bog, but it's deep. At the same time, though, it's something a little more challenging. I haven't really tried out this side yet. Maybe it's more promising. I feel like these mud holes are deceivingly deep. Oh, boy. I think this is a dugout one. Oh, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. That one's deep. That one's deep. Uh-oh. We might be stuck now. The diff lock ain't working on this one. The fancy new diff lock that we got on these Outlanders, it is not working. Oh, nope, nope. Okay, we're good. Pull out of it. Okay, that's that's too deep there. You know what? Let's go uh, let's go take the truck for a little ride in there, and then we'll find out how really deep it is, because there ain't much that's going to sink this thing. It's going to have to be super deep. Oh, man, that is deep. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That is too deep. Too deep. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah. Oh, boy. How did anyone get through that? How did it get dug out that deep? I need a full-on mud truck. Let's just try back this in. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, now I got a bed full of mud here. That's... That's a death hole for the Outlander or basically any vehicle we have. I stand corrected. There is holes here that can sink this. I may have to bring a mud truck out here. I got my hip waders on here. Let's see how deep we can go. Yeah, that's that's as deep as I'm going. And it just keeps going. There ha This has to be like some kind of a musk egg or sinkhole or something here because it is deep. What's something that I don't care about that I could just send in there? You know what? We're going to do it on the little flatbed here. I'm going to attach a cable to the back here and we'll just see how far we can send it in before this thing cuts out. We'll see if we just end up completely losing this thing because I feel like we will. With the hole that almost sunk the SEMA truck, this ought to be fun. Okay, easy. E oh, here's where it drops off. Oh no, the pants. The hip waders don't help none. My head's about to go under here. Okay, we might have might have made it. We at the bottom? Well, that's toast. I don't even think we made it to the bottom. You can see just like the little bit of it sticking up there. Yeah, it's officially sunk. It's done. I don't know what the heck we'd put in here that would actually go through this. I need to build some kind of a mud truck or something because I need to conquer this mud hole. This ain't good enough. I, I need to do something better. But until we get that, I think we can kind of mess around in here a little bit more. You know what? Let's go... Let's just go send the dirt bike, honestly. <laughs> Maybe I gotta get like a little bit of a snorkel on this or something. Maybe that'll do it. Let's jump it off the rock. Nope, that didn't work. Can we actually get up on the rock at all? Oh yeah, we can. Yeah, sending it. Woo! There's a little bit of a creek through here, but it's just pretty much full of rocks. Like a little bit of water runs down it, but that's about it. People! Oh shoot. Oh shoot, don't go for the big one. <laughs> if this bike goes in there, it's never coming out. It's toast. I'm gonna try to jump it. Jump it again. Nope, just bunny hopped it pretty much. Big jump. Yeah. Wheelie! Kind of. Sort of didn't really work out. Woo! This thing is fast. Can I jump it off the trailer? Is that a possibility? Nope. Ramps are... Ramps aren't even touching the ground at this point. Off the rock. Yeah. It just can't get enough momentum built up here. Don't got enough speed. Unfortunately, this dirt bike is not speed. I almost hit the Outlander. Well, after enough towing and the Outlander spinning for quite a while, because this thing was stuck in here deep, we, uh, we recovered it. I don't know if it's ever going to run again, because about every part of it is completely clogged with mud. But you know what? It's out. And that's all that matters. And unfortunately, I think I'm running out of gas in most things, so... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I could have just winched it out with the big winch. I forgot this truck had a big winch on there. Oh, that would have been so much more useful. Well, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to come back here with an even bigger mud truck, even bigger than our SEMA truck, and completely conquer this mud hole, because I will do it. It's gonna happen, and we're supposed to get rain here pretty soon, so this mud hole's gonna get even deeper. We'll definitely have to come back. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed. Subscribe, and goodbye.